We always hear how the planet is heating up, the ice caps are melting, the ocean levels are rising, and if this continues, much of the land will one day be underwater, right? However, let's think hypothetically on what if the opposite was happening. What if instead of ice caps melting, ice caps were forming and not disappearing? The ocean levels were getting lower and new land and islands were starting to form. Would it be better for the planet or worse? We will be talking about that in this video, but before we start talking about this icy topic, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and bell for notifications on new videos. And if you like, please share. If the ice caps were forming and not melting, what would be the effects that we would be all noticing and seeing on this planet? All right, Roger Roots here. This is uh, Glacier National Park. And it's only at the end of the melt season that you can really determine if the glaciers are growing or melting since, the, for example, the year before. Uh, they have visibly been changing their signs, basically suggesting that computer models indicate glaciers will be gone by the year 2020. Now that's two and a half years from now. This sign, just last September, actually said the glaciers were all predicted to melt by the year 2020. And now it says when they will completely disappear depends on how and when we act. As the planet gets colder and colder, there would be less and less hurricanes and tropical storms hitting the earth and causing damage to millions of people and cities. In order for hurricanes or tropical storms to form, sea surface temperatures must be at or above 80 degrees Fahrenheit in order for the tropical storm or hurricane to flourish. Anything colder than that will cause the storm to weaken or even dissipate. So if the world is getting colder and ice caps are getting bigger, less hurricanes would be happening, probably saving billions of dollars of hurricane and tropical storm recovery. Sounds great, right? While there is only one problem with this. Sadly, we actually need hurricanes and tropical storms to survive. Fire! Yeah, that is correct. Without hurricanes and tropical storms, it would be hard for the planet to have life. Hurricanes are viewed as the planet's regional thermostats, meaning if one region of the planet gets hot, a hurricane will happen, cooling that region down, allowing life to flourish. When hot summer droughts hit the United States, hurricanes form, allowing moisture and coolness to come, allowing agriculture to grow, and allowing humans and animals to have food from that agriculture. But if the world started to cool way down, less hurricanes would be forming, which would have a big effect on agriculture and climate. As the ice caps got bigger instead of melting, this would still take some time. The winters would be colder and last longer, meaning much more rain and snow. But when summertime rolls around, melting much of the snow, that means the rivers would be much higher than they usually are, causing a lot of flooding in many cities and a lot of mudslides, destroying houses, cities, and towns. As the ice caps got bigger and the ocean levels got smaller, many countries would be feeling that their countries suddenly got bigger, as now much of the land that once was under the ocean has now surfaced. However, since many countries border each other, especially around Asia, Russia, and Europe, it would be a dispute on whose land it really is and who owns the land. It already is happening between China, India, and Pakistan. The three countries have been disputing for years and still are to this day on who owns a section of a territory that borders the three countries. It is known as the Kashmir conflict. All three countries claiming the territory belongs to them. The region is split between the three countries, but the three countries want the territory all to themselves. They almost came to nuclear war in 1999 because of this land. And this piece of land is not even under the ocean. As more land started to form, that would mean more room for us and other land animals but yet not a whole lot of seawater for sea life. We would no doubt be seeing a lot of dead sea life on the land where there once was water, making more and more sea life depleted, putting many sea life on the endangered species list. There is a lot of open land already on this planet. If you go to Kansas, Illinois, Colorado, Mexico, Russia, and Africa, 
as well as many other parts of the world, you will see many open land that is uninhabited, showing that there is still plenty of land and room for much of the people that live on this planet. It's just most people choose to stay where there is already a city thriving, usually due to family and friends being there, or jobs and careers being available in those cities. However, if the ocean started to get smaller and more land started to appear, much of this land that is now available would most likely be uninhabited, mostly just filled with wildlife and explorers and scientists studying these new and amazing lands that have suddenly surfaced. Just because much of this new land would be uninhabited, it wouldn't stop many people from buying a lot of the new land. Many investors would know at some point much of the land would be used for vacationing or for private use. And of course, they would want the land first so they could make big bucks from whoever comes forward saying they want the land for themselves. As the ice caps got bigger, much of the world would get colder. Winters would last longer. A lot of animals that are unable to survive in the cold conditions would be in danger of survival, while animals that are used to the cold would start to migrate to places where you usually would not see them. Many farms thrive off the warm summer days, having good sunlight to give the fruits and vegetables they need to grow, and also watering them to make them thrive. But it would be quite difficult if the planet kept getting colder and colder. As the ice caps kept getting bigger and bigger and the ocean kept getting smaller and smaller, that would mean less sunlight to grow the fruits and vegetables. Most likely what would need to happen is most agricultures would need to be indoors as they would use indoor lighting to help the agriculture grow, which would cost more. So people would have to pay more when shopping. Not only would agriculture be expensive, but it probably be next to impossible to eat seafood most sea life would be put on the endangered species list and people would be trying to save what sea life is left. The seafood you could buy, the price would be so high due to all the sea life dying because of what little space they have left on the planet. What do you think? Is it better for the world to go down the path of global warming or global cooling? I'm sure either one is bad, but which one if you had to choose would be better? Well, leave it in the comments below.